Today's video is sponsored by Springboard. If you want hands-on experience in deploying a machine learning model, want to learn how to write machine learning algorithms, or would like to deploy a deep learning prototype, check out their machine learning engineering career track. With this program, you'll also be paired with a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with a machine learning expert throughout the course. This course was designed for software engineers, so you'll need to have at least one year of coding experience with an OOP language. With Springboard's job guarantee, you get your tuition reimbursed if you don't find a job in the industry and you're based in the US or Canada. Real Tough Candy is exclusively offering a $500 scholarship to the first 20 eligible applicants. Make sure you use the code Real Tough Candy when you enroll. Check if you're eligible by applying. The application is free and it takes 10 minutes. What's up, developers? It's Real Tough Candy from realtoughcandy.com back online with you guys today. We are exploring some pretty sweet repos in GitHub. Not just any GitHub repos, but machine learning projects. Machine learning has been around for a while while. It uses statistical methods to enable machines to improve with experience. So they're making smarter decisions. They can classify, they can identify, they can predict things. And then down here we have deep learning and it makes the computation of multi-layer neural networks feasible. So enough babbling, let's pop on to repo number one. How I discovered this repo, actually, I was on YouTube one night and this popped up. I said, what on earth? New York in 1911, colorized with deoldify. And as you can see here, look at this. This is really cool. And it just instantly brings to life these old images with this colorization that's made possible by deep learning. And to just go back and show you where that falls in AI, there are a lot of other deoldify videos on here too. Here's an experiment with MLK. I have a dream speech. Wow. And the poster said it took about an hour to colorize it. And before that, the person stabilized and enhanced the black and white footage, which took about an hour. So total time to convert this, about two hours, a six minute clip. Um, this stuff, wow. I remember seeing this stuff in school and it was grainy and black and white. And it just, again, really just brings these things to life immediately. Repo number two, face recognition, the world's simplest facial recognition API for Python and the command line. Even if you're not a Python developer, you're not a machine learning person, this could be something you could probably get set up with with minimal pushback. It's the easiest one out there. It's the simplest one out there. The first thing it can do is find faces and pictures, and it did a pretty good job of that. It can also get the locations and outlines of people's features. Political memeing at its finest, throwing on some lipstick, and it can also identify faces in pictures. The developer explains down here, it's a library. You can use it with other Python libraries. You can do real-time facial recognition. That's pretty sweet. One of the things that is also great about machine learning is that the best libraries, the most expansive ones are written in Python. You can do machine learning in JavaScript and other languages, but really Python is just so perfect. It's just such a great match for this type of work. And Python is a great beginner's language. So if you're new to this whole thing, even though this is really data science heavy, Python is a great language to do this stuff with. Let's go on to the next repo. It's another image related repo called SRES, Image Super Resolution Through Deep Learning. And the developer notes here that this is a random, not cherry picked example of what this network can do. So the first column is the 16 by 16 input image. This is the second one that you would get from a standard by cubic interpolation. The third one is an output generated by the neural net. And this on the right is the ground truth. Repo number four, Leon, or Leon, Leon, say goodbye to Siri, say goodbye to Alexa, say goodbye to whoever. As the developer notes, it's an open source personal assistant that can live on your server. He does stuff when you ask him for it. You can talk to him and he can talk to you. You can also text him. He can text you. And if you want, he can communicate with you by being offline. So here's a YouTube demo video to really show you guys what this thing does. Leon. Hello. Hi, what's up? Ian, who are you? Firstly, I'm not a criminal as you might relatively think about a popular movie. Secondly, Lewis is the guy who gave me life. Thirdly, I'm your personal assistant and I'm very glad to help you. Ian, tell me a joke. 
why was the JavaScript developer sad? Because he didn't know how to express himself. Leon, your open source personal assistant. And finally, number five, for the music heads, we have Deep Jazz. This is deep learning driven jazz generation using Keras and Theano. Basically, it is a machine that creates music. No longer being actively developed, but is still pretty cool. There's a SoundCloud link I'll check out in just a minute, but this was built in 36 hours at a hackathon using two deep learning libraries. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Can a computer make cool music? Let's see. Maybe might not end up on a Beyonce album anytime soon, but not bad. There you have it, five machine learning repos. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.